Welcome to the CFEMS Exam Preparation Podcast. In this episode, we'll explore how to evaluate that expected benefits are achieved and report metrics, for example, return on investment, benchmarks, user satisfaction. Evaluating the effectiveness of healthcare information systems post-implementation is crucial to ensure that the significant investments made in these technologies deliver the expected benefits and support the organization's strategic objectives. This evaluation process involves measuring the system's impact through various metrics and user feedback, thereby facilitating informed decision-making for future enhancements and investments. Here's a closer look at the strategies for evaluating system benefits and the advantages of doing so. Strategies for evaluating expected benefits. Performance metrics. Identification of key metrics. Identify key performance indicators, KPIs, relevant to the system's goals, such as improved patient outcomes, operational efficiency, cost savings, or enhanced data security. Data collection and analysis. Implement tools and processes for continuous collection and analysis of these metrics. Utilize data analytics platforms to visualize trends and derive insights from the collected data. Benchmark comparisons. Establish baselines. Before implementing the new system, establish baseline metrics to quantify performance and user satisfaction. This baseline serves as a reference point for post-implementation comparisons. Ongoing benchmarking. Regularly compare post-implementation performance against baseline metrics to quantify improvements. Consider industry benchmarks as well to evaluate performance relative to similar organizations. Feedback surveys. Structured surveys. Develop structured surveys to capture user feedback on the system's usability, impact on workflow, and overall satisfaction. Surveys should be designed to elicit specific insights that can guide improvements. Open forums and interviews. In addition to surveys, conduct open forums, focus groups, or individual interviews with system users to gather detailed qualitative feedback on their experiences with the system. Benefits of evaluating expected benefits. Benefit realization. Quantifiable improvements. This process enables organizations to quantify the improvements and benefits achieved through the system implementation, validating the investment and supporting further investment decisions. Adjustment and optimization. Evaluation results can identify areas where the system is not delivering the expected benefits, guiding adjustments and optimizations to achieve desired outcomes. Informed decision making. Strategic enhancements, insights gained from performance metrics and user feedback inform strategic decisions regarding system enhancements, prioritizing changes that will deliver the greatest impact on performance and satisfaction. Future investments, analysis of the system's impact on organizational objectives and user satisfaction guides future technology investment decisions, ensuring that resources are allocated to initiatives that offer the highest return on investment. Implementing evaluation practices. Successful implementation of these evaluation practices requires a structured approach, including clear definitions of metrics and goals, regular data collection and analysis, and mechanisms for gathering and incorporating user feedback. It also necessitates a culture of continuous improvement, where insights from evaluations are used to make data-driven decisions for system enhancements and strategic IT investments. Summary By systematically evaluating the benefits achieved through healthcare information systems and reporting on key metrics, organizations can ensure that these systems continue to evolve in alignment with user needs and organizational goals, maximizing the value of their IT investments. If you found this content valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to Professional Certifications channel.